Hey friends, this is Atif for Pure Well and welcome to the new update on Zelika Coin. In today's video, I would like to share with you this chart that I posted a year back on 21st of June 2019. And we will also watch the movement of the price action after leaving this pan in. And I would like to show you the different moving averages on the daily chart as well. And we will also watch the different support and resistance levels and the harmonic moves by the price action of Zelika coin. Uh, so let's start the video. First of all, I would like to take you uh, to the coinmarketcap.com and we can see that Zelika is standing in top 50 uh, cryptocurrencies and tokens among uh, more than, out of more than 2,300 cryptocurrencies and tokens. So this is a really very powerful and strong project. At this time, the price of the Zelika coin is almost two cents. That is 1.9 cents. And if we watch the market cap of Zelika coin, that is $195 million. And uh, the last 24 hour volume of the Zelika coin is $50.4 million. A few days back, if I would like to show you here, uh, we can see that uh, the market, uh, the volume of this coin was, the trade volume was 100 and three million dollars so the volume the trade volume is getting decreased and decreased so it's a signal that if there is a bearish movement or bearish trend then it will be finished soon or if there is a bullish trend then it is going to be finished soon because whenever the volume is getting decreased so this is a really very clear signal the first signal that the trend is getting changed now i would like to show you this chart that i shared uh, almost a year back on 21st of June 2019 when the price action formed a pennant on this long-term weekly chart and at that time the price action was just moving towards the support of this pennant and here we have one two and almost three touches um, in the month of May 2019 now if we, I would like to take you to this live chart then we can see that uh, at that time the price action was here on 17th of June and now we can see that after 17th of june here is the candlestick of 17th of june and after that the price action was moving with the support of this pannon and left the pannon directionless and and found a final support at uh, 55 satoshis this is the last support for the zelika so far and took a powerful bullish divergence and produced more than 440 percent bullish rally so far and it has hit the first target i defined four targets as per the fibonacci sequence of this uh, pennant from the tail of the pennant up to the support of this pennant uh, the end of this pennant you can say and uh, the first target was the 0.382 fibonacci projection of this tail up to this end of the pennant and the second target is uh, 0 0.50 the third target is uh, 0.618 Fibonacci retracement and the final target could be uh, 540 Satoshis that is this uh, 0.786 Fibonacci projection of this tail up to the end of the pennant and I'm expecting that the price action will be moved up to at least 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level at this time the price action has found a strong resistance here that is 300 Satoshis where we have 0.382 uh, Fibonacci projection of this tail up to the end of this pannon uh, or you can say the tail up to this support and this is the projection 0.382 now if we uh, watch the different simple moving averages with the time period of 25 this green was in, uh, one is 50 this red one is 100 and this black one is 200 then the price action turned a really very powerful uh, bullish divergence and it moved up uh, and crossed up all the moving averages and we can see that a, a complete open alligator mouth was formed at this level somewhere here and the price action had a really very powerful support after nine, uh, 19th of May 2020 uh, of these all these uh, uh, simple moving averages and the alligator mouth as well because the smallest mo moving average uh, moved above all the simple moving averages then we have the bigger one, then the bigger one, and the biggest simple moving average with, with the time period of 200 uh, moved below all the other moving averages. That was a really very powerful bullish signal. Therefore, uh, the price action moved up more than 440%. At this time, the price action is retraced back. And this is for the first time ever after this bullish divergence, the price action has broken down this 25 simple moving average. But at, uh, after that, it is moving sideways. And as we have 
uh, recently earlier uh, seen uh, at the starting of this video that the uh, trading volume is getting decreased and decreased so this is a signal that if there is a bearish trend then it can be finished very soon because if uh, there is a bear bearish trend and the volume is decreasing then uh, soon a buying volume will be entered in the market and they can lead the price action again bullish now we have uh, the next support at 50 simple moving average that is at 162 satoshis if the price action will be not able to move up uh, above this uh, 25 simple moving average again then it can move back to the previous support of to a 50 simple moving average at 162 satoshis and if we want the, uh, the exponential moving averages with the time period of 10 and 21 this is this blue one is the 10 and this red one is a 21 then the price action was having a very good support of these two exponential moving averages then uh, and we can see that whenever the price action was moving on this uh, on this exponential moving averages it was using them as support and moving up use them as support and moved up use them as a, as a support and moved up again this time the price action first time after this bullish divergence has broken down uh, these two simple moving averages even uh, we cannot say that this 21 simple moving average is completely broken down because there is not a single candlestick we can see that is completely open and close below this 25, 21 simple uh, exponential moving average. Therefore, unless a complete candlestick will be not uh, open and close below this uh, 21 simple moving average, we cannot consider that this moving average is broken down. And so far, uh, the blue one, the 10 exponential moving average did not cross down the 21 exponential moving average and form the bear cross therefore both moving averages are still in bull cross therefore therefore we can expect that this is a correction rally and soon the price action can move above these two simple moving averages but again if the price action will be not able to cross up this uh, these two simple mo exponential moving averages then we have the previous support at 162 satoshis that is the 50 simple moving average then we can expect that the price action will be moved up to that level now i would like to show you uh, this resistance level uh, that is at 300 satoshis this is a really very powerful uh, resistance level because if i will take you to the weekly chart on this simple moving averages chart uh, then we can see that at this time the price action is having a 100 simple moving average resistance on this weekly chart that is really a very powerful resistance and we ha also have a 0.382 fibonacci projection of this uh, from this tail of the triangle up to this support this is the projection of this uh, tail to to this support at 0.382 and we also have this price level resistance that has been working as resistance since uh, June 2019 even uh, we can say that it has been working as a resistance since after May 2019 when the pr uh, price action broke down uh, this support and now this support is working as a resistance since June 2019 we can see that after several attempts the price action moved back and after being rejected it was moving sideways here and now it is again after a year it is trying to break out this resistance of 300 satoshis if this uh, resistance will be broken out then we can expect that the price action will be moved to the next target that is 0.50 fibonacci projection that is point, uh, th 370 satoshis then we have the next target at 440 satoshis and this is our final target 0.6 a is 0.786 Fibonacci projection and that is 540 satoshis now finally I would like to show you this harmonic move of the Zilliqa coin uh, first the Zilliqa formed a cipher pattern this is a bullish cipher pattern all the legs are perfectly driven as required for the cipher this leg was uh, there is a little bit difference uh, because it was moved up to 1.20 Fibonacci projection and we need at least 1.272 Fibonacci projection to complete uh, this C point of this cipher pattern. However, the, the, the difference is really very small. Therefore, I have ignored that difference. Therefore, uh, I'm considering that uh, it is a complete cipher pattern. And after entering in the potential reversal zone on, of this cipher pattern, it took a powerful bullish divergence and started the 
uh, uh, formation of next harmonic move, and that was the bullish Gardley pattern. At this time, the price action has almost completed the final leg of the Gardley because uh, it, the potential reversal zone or the completion of this Gardley uh, is at uh, 203 satoshis up to 199 satoshis and so far if we see this spike then this spike is up to 204 satoshis so this leg is almost completed but i'm expecting uh, that soon it will be completely entered in the in this potential reversal zone then we can expect that the price action will be take uh, will take another powerful bullish divergence from here and this harmonic move can help the price action to break out the next resistance level of 300 satoshis. However, this is a really very small time period chart. This is only a two hour chart. Uh, therefore, uh, we cannot have really very big expectations that it will uh, produce such a powerful bullish rally that it can lead the price action to break out the next resistance of 300 satoshis. However, it can be a helpful, uh, very helpful for the price action because be uh, using the help of this bullish divergence, the price action can move up the 25 symbol moving uh, uh, average again on the daily chart, and it will also move up uh, uh, above these two exponential moving averages as well. And once we will have these two supports again, then these two supports of moving averages can uh, take the uh, price action or lift the price action more up again to help the price action uh, for the breakout, the next resistance level. So this was the update so far by the price action of Zalika. If I'll have more updates, I'll definitely share with you. And I hope that you have liked the video. Then do hit the like, do subscribe to the channel, and do share your comments with me as well, and do share my videos as well. Take care. Goodbye.